Hello everybody, I am Torit Mato and you are watching Art and Purulia. In today's video, we will see how to paint water in a landscape using acrylics. Water we can see in nature in many forms. Here I am not talking of frozen liquid or gaseous form, but the liquid one only. And the form it takes based on its location. Water on its own doesn't have any color or any shape. It reflects the color of the sky and also the surrounding things and it takes the shape of uh, wherever you keep the water it may be a glass or the mighty sea we can see water in forms like small puddle pond or lake as almost non-moving water except of course some ripples we also see water in constant motion such as rivers rapids and waterfalls the water of the ocean again can have flat calm sea or raging waves. I will briefly demonstrate the key features of painting a serene almost still water body which I have chosen as backwaters of Kerala. Then I will demonstrate a waterfall I have chosen Kempty Falls of Masuri and thereafter a sea with gentle waves hitting the shore in Andamans. Before that I will request you to have a look at my video on reflection because water and reflections go side by side. If the water is still, it will act as a mirror and will reflect the objects nearby. Though you will not find any reflection in disturbed water. For painting still or almost still water, knowing how reflections work is very essential. The basic rules that apply while painting reflections are more still the water is, sharper will be the reflections. The reflections of an object will be the mirror image of it. The size of the reflection will depend on how it is leaning based on our angle of view and how far it is from the water body. The dark colors on land appear slightly lighter on reflection and the light colors on land will appear slightly darker on reflection. Colors are less saturated on reflections and water reflections have soft edges. Generally you will not find hard edges on reflections until unless the reflection is absolutely crystal clear and crisp. Let's see a water body with water almost still the backwaters of Kerala. Uh, we will establish the horizon line and the direction of light before sketching the outlines. And we can see that the horizon line is almost where the water meets the tree line at the far end where you can see a houseboat at the distance. We can also see a linear perspective here where the water channel width and the trees reduce in size and the vanishing lines meet at the horizon line. The direction of light appears to be almost from top but from the right and behind the viewer. We can see the shadows slightly on the left. Here it is important to note that the shadows will be on the opposite side of that of the source of light but the reflections will be right in front of the viewer. We can see angles of the reflections that is the images are mirror image that is on the opposite directions. Because of the mild ripples the reflections are a bit hazy. Let's draw the basic shapes first then we'll block the basic colors and shapes with the mid tones then apply the highlights and shadows. First if you draw the horizon line and then the vanishing lines of the channel as well as the trees making the shapes of the trees as well as the channel and uh, the houseboats will be much easy. The water though is reflecting the sky in the open areas the value will be a bit dull in comparison to the value of the sky. So first we cover the sky area with a light blue almost white tone and thereafter uh, cover the exposed 
water area where uh, the sky is being reflected with a slightly dull blue tone thereafter we cover the greenery with a mid green tone uh, where uh, i'm not being really particular about uh, various values and shapes but generally keeping the same shapes and a mid tone thereafter we can refine with a darker tone and uh, wherever highlights are to be shown will apply uh, lighter green or even yellowish tone and some places where uh, even brown is there will apply a greenish brown tone to show the shadow areas or the dry leaves we can apply white paint using a palette knife to show some uh, lights being reflected from the water area and that will make the reflections look more realistic Now let's see the waterfall. I'll not go in detail for the other features like rocks and land, but those are equally important. Without the background and the surrounding areas, just the white waterfall won't show up at all. So initially, we'll paint the foliage or the greenery all around and the rocks at the background or the rocks behind the waterfall before we paint the. Uh, waterfall the waterfall almost 
white here can be painted very nicely using a stiff brush preferably a fan brush just dab some paint touch to the top of the fall and swiftly pull down as you pull down reduce the pressure and lift up the brush before the fall is supposed to touch the bottom do this a few times for all the falls or all the places from where the water is dripping down then you can paint the bottom portion where it forms a puddle or almost like a pond also some haze around to show the spray of water all around because of the water being spread because of the wind there after the values of the highlights and shadows of the foliage and the other objects around can be accentuated a bit to uh, make them more obvious Now let's see the seascape we can see the gentle waves over the sea before the crash on the shore and become white with lots of foam the waves have crests and troughs and they can be identified by a lighter value and darker value the highlights and shadows first we can uniformly cover the sea area with an even mid tone blue wash and then paint the waves with darker value of blue and then making the highlights with lighter value of blue and also we can have some white crests for the foam we have to use white with a bit of blue to tone it down a little bit of red for the shadow areas will go well since it will give a hint of violet for the beach we can use raw amber and yellow ochre and for the wet sand mix it with a bit of blue and red to reduce the brightness
So we have seen three different varieties of water bodies and the takeaway here is again observation. Observing keenly for the shapes and values makes the difference. You do not have to think whether you are uh, painting a pond or a sea or even a waterfall. Just see how the shapes are, whether they are uh, in lines, whether in shapes of curves or uh, they are making some different shape and also the values. In the next chapter we will see how to paint rocky landscape and deserts. Till then keep practicing and stay safe and healthy. Namaskar. <laughs>